Amotekun arrest truckload of headsmen going to Ibarapa recovers 25 guns. The truck with registration number is registered with Kebi State and the Amotekun officials found 25 guns and 10 dogs in the truck alongside the suspects. Operatives of the mm -hmm. Oyo State chapter of the Western Nigerian Security Network have intercepted a truck loaded with gunmen suspected to be headsmen heading to Iganga community in the recently troubled Ibarapa area of the state. The truck with registration number is registered with Kebi State and the Amutekun officials found 25 guns and 10 dogs in the truck alongside the suspect. The Oyo State Amutekun Ido unit, led by Benga Olarewaju, made the arrest. They are suspected headsmen in possession of about 25 10 guns and 10 dogs. They have been handed over to the police for further interrogation. An official said, There has been unrest in Iganga in Ibarapa recently due to worsening insecurity, kidnappings, and killings. This escalated when a pan Ududuwa nation agitator, Chief Sunday Adeyemo, more popularly known as Sunday Igbohu, issued an ultimatum to Fulani headsmen believed to be behind the insecurity to vacate the state. Igbohu himself on Sunday narrated how some criminals fired bullets at him at the Seriki Fulani of Iganga, Saliu Abdukadeo, police in Ibarapa, but that they did not harm him. Earlier on Friday, irate youth had also attacked the Seriki Fulani after violence erupted in Iganga, Ibarapa, in the Fulani community, during which the houses and property of the Seriki Fulani, Abdukadeo, were burnt. Abdukadeo had told Sahara reporters that he, his wives, and children were sent out of the settlement, adding that 11 vehicles and houses were burnt in the process. The Seriki had thereafter fled the community with his family as aggrieved youth put fire to the settlement. Igbohu had ordered that the killer headsmen ravaging the southwest should leave. The Oyo State Commissioner of Police, Ngozi Onadeko, had also visited the community, saying that Igbohu's visit truncated the relative peace and calmness being enjoined in the Iganga community. Onadeko had vowed to bring the masterminds of the attack on the Fulani community in Iganga to justice. Retreating that the security agencies would not watch why some criminal mm -hmm. element takes the law into their own hands. She had also promised that the arson and the breach of the peace which occurred at Iganga would be investigated to a logical conclusion. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. Fulani heads men. They will never change, no matter how you try. And that is the main reason why I am fully against the, the new decision of the Southwest governors. That decision of still keeping them in Southwest is a very, very dangerous one. I will not lie to you. It is a very, very dangerous decision. Because these people you see, I'm telling you, the way they behave is very, very, very strange. They are unpredictable. They are unpredictable kind of human beings. Look at, just because of them, Oyo is in complete mess. 
Ondo is in complete mess. The whole of southeast, southwest to say, is in complete mess just because of the same people. Every year we keep getting issue of X-Men and the community that they find themselves. Why are they moving about? Why are they why, why, why have they left their own community to another community? What is the problem? What is the problem, my viewers? Why has the federal government allowed them to be making use of ammunition? They are not supposed to be using ammunition. Has the, has the federal government allowed the, the, the use of ammunition or the moving around with ammunition? Uh, uh, have they allowed that in Nigeria? Have they allowed that to, 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 to be taken, to be, to be um, used in Nigeria? I, I want to believe that it is not allowed. I want to believe that it is not allowed. So, why are they allowing these Fulanese to do that? This same ammunition they carry about is what they use in robbing. This same ammunition they carry about is what they use in kidnapping and raping of people in the society. For what reason and why? Why are we allowing such in our, in, our, in our state and in our community. You see that the President Momo Bari has a lot, a lot to do. A lot to do. He has a lot to do. All in the name of cattle rearing, they go about with ammunition. All in the name of cattle rearing, they move around with ammunition. Once they invade your land and you and you and you refuse them from grazing on your land, the next thing you see is they will use the, ammuni the ammunition on you. In fact, one of the very important reasons why they should not even be allowed to be using the ammunition is because of the unnecessary attack that they carry on the farm. You know, they don't understand any other language aside from fire. And that is it. And that is what is still affecting our Nigerian army to today. The only language our Nigerian army mm -hmm. understands is fire. And that is because of their level of education. Which is wrong. What are they going to gain from all of this? What are they going to gain from all of this? All this is still going to land on nothing. Instead, they keep getting themselves into trouble upon trouble. Trouble upon trouble. And yet, they are gaining nothing out of it. Look at. See how they were dismissed at Oyo. Mm -hmm. They will dismiss them from Oyo. They will move to another, another, another state. They will move them away from that state. They will move to another state. I think the federal government need to work on the illegal movement of these Fulani headsmen because it's causing lots of headache and lots of havoc in the community. Enough is enough. I think we have heard enough from them. We have tolerated enough from them. Alright? So, um, my viewers, based on all these that have just been said, what is your take and your advice? Give it free to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.